How does the coronavirus can affect your dropshipping business and what should you do to avoid negative effect for your dropshipping business, negative feedbacks and problematic situations? Hello everybody! In this video I will talk with you about something which is really important to everyone who do dropshipping from China and this is the coronavirus Chinese virus, how can, it, how can it affect your dropshipping business, dropshipping store, and what should you do to avoid problematic situations? So first of all, what is it? For those of you who don't know, this is a virus in, in China, which affects a lot of people. People don't go to uh, their work in many different cities in China, and this affects some of the manufacturers, some of the companies, the uh, shipping companies, and everyone who you can uh, get in touch for a dropshipping business. It affects actually everything. Shipping times, uh, delays in the contact with suppliers, everything that you can think about. So what should you do to avoid problematic situations and keep your store in a good position and still keep uh, going forward and increase your profits and work as uh, uh, and work in the safe method so the first thing that i would do instead of you is to increase the handling time of all of your products right now for those of you who still didn't decrease the handling time after the chinese new year it's good keep it like this and now something that is really important to say here i wouldn't increase it only now i would also keep it longer after the after you hear that the virus finished the reason for this is because even after it finished, still there will be a huge overload over Chinese shipping companies, manufacturers, and uh, sellers. So even after you hear that the virus finished, don't run and decrease the handling time too fast. Make it step by step because again there will be overloads. The second and uh, delays. The second thing here is the communication. If you're using the messages, the automatic messages to your customers on eBay, on AutoDS, using AutoDS, or even if you do it manually, it doesn't matter. But after you sell a product, it's really important to send to your customer a message which says, listen, we have delays with the shipping because of the situation in China. Everyone knows about it and everyone will understand it. So it's not a problem at all. Be open with your clients, it's really important for the long term. Even if the client will ask you to cancel the, uh, the package, to cancel the shipping, the order, it's still not a problem and it's still better than a heavy delay and then get a negative feedback from your client and make them unhappy. Remember, customer experience is the most important thing for eBay and for any other actually e-commerce business and same for us. We should listen to our customers, but we should also tell them what happens and tell them the truth. So if the shipping time is longer, just notify your clients about this. The third thing that you can do is using uh, templates. In your template on eBay, you can write that there will be delays, which this is something which is good. I wouldn't do it if I work with non-API because then you cannot do bulk change and change your templates back. And another small tip, this is the time to try some United States, UK or Germany suppliers depends on your country and where you sell. Um, now it's a good time because anyway you cannot sell a lot from China so uh, now it's a great time. About suppliers which has uh, that have uh, both warehouses in China and United States for example, usually most of the United States uh, warehouses will still have stocks but these stocks will be also decreased because they cannot get more uh, products from China. So ask your supplier about their situation. Not all of the suppliers are in the same situation. I would send an email uh, to your supplier and ask them what to do when they expect to come back to work and if they have any problems and delays. I hope that this video helps you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video and ask me in the comment section everything that you want to know about dropshipping, e-commerce or anything that will help you with your dropshipping business. 
to succeed more and make more profits. I wish you a lot of sales. I hope that this situation will, uh, will be finished fast. And for now, as I said, try new things and increase your brochure business. Bye-bye.